All right, in this demo, we're gonna do the clean finish for turn and stitch, all right? So this is another um, way to finish the seam allowance of your, the edge of your seam allowance of the inside of your garment if you don't plan on um, lining it or if it's just fraying a lot. So you can see here when I pull on the edge of my seam allowance, it does fray. And to keep that from happening, there's different finishes we can do to the edge of it. Um, so it stays nice and clean. All right. So in this case, we're going to do one called turn and stitch. This is where we press under the edge of our seam allowance by a quarter of an inch. And then we just stitch right here and it holds that edge under and it makes it nice and clean. Okay. So I could go ahead and just press under this edge by eye, or I can go to my machine and do a stay stitching, which will give me a nice line to press this under, okay? And that's what I like to do. So let's go to the sewing machine and stay stitch the edges of our seam allowance. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is isolate one of these seam allowances. I'm just gonna pull it and um, move back the other seam allowance and the other panel, okay? So all I have here is just one of my seam allowances. I'm now going to go and stay stitch this at a quarter of an inch from the edge here. So let's go ahead and do that. And stay stitch it at a quarter of an inch. There's one. And now we're going to isolate the other seam allowance push everything out of the way, and we'll stay stitched to this edge at a quarter of an inch as well. And there we go. Both seam allowances have been stay stitched a quarter of an inch from the edge. All right, so let's go to our iron and press those uh, that quarter of an inch under. Okay, we got the iron. What we're gonna do now is again, isolate one of the seam allowances like so. And I'm gonna flip it to the wrong side of that seam allowance. I can see my stay stitching here. And I'm simply gonna just fold that back right along my stay stitching, that quarter of an inch, and press it back. Like so. Okay, there's one edge. And let's go ahead and grab the other seam allowance. Fold everything out of the way, and we'll press that one back as well. There we go. Now you can see both edges have been pressed under. Okay, I'm just gonna give this seam a quick press one more time. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the sewing machine and I'll isolate one of my seam allowances and I'm gonna stitch right down the center of that quarter inch that I folded under to hold that in place so it doesn't flip back over to the right side. All right, so let's go to the machine and do that. Okay, so again, we're gonna isolate one of the seam allowances there we go, everything else is pressed out of the way. And I flip this upside down so I can see the inside of my seam allowance where I pressed under that quarter inch. And I'm gonna stitch at a quarter of an inch right down the center. Or I'm gonna, sit I'm gonna stitch right down the center of that quarter of an inch. This is permanent, so I'm gonna back tack at beginning and end. And let's isolate the other seam allowance away from everything else. And we'll stitch down the center of that one now. There we 
we go. So now both of those have been stitched. All right, so there it is, totally finished. And you can see now the edge of the seam allowance looks nice and clean because it's been pressed under and it's been stitched down on both sides so it won't flip back over. So there's the inside of it. Okay, so there, there it is. That's the turn and stitch um, finish for seam allowance.